and welcome back. I'm Genevieve, I'm a director, and I'm back here today with the fantastic singer Lara to swoop into our second workshop on Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And for the next half hour, we are going to think about nothing but sweets. Do you think you can do that? <laughs> Lara, what do you reckon? I think we definitely can. And we've got rather a sweety themed warm up for you today. So all things on a theme of sugar and sweets. Now I love sugar, I love sweets, I love chocolate, anything puddingy, I'm there. So let's start with warming up our bodies. So can you just give me shoulders, shoulders up and down, up and down, shoulders and shoulders up, down, up, down, round and round and up and down and up and down. One more time, round and round and up and down and up and down. And now can you just give me a stretch? Why don't you sit close? Stretch, 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 stretch. And down. And just put your shoulders up. Squeeze, 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 and down. Squeeze, 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 and down. And one more time, rolling them round. Lovely. So last week we were looking at our posture and how we stand. And it's really important when we're singing to be standing properly. So do you remember with the tree, we improved our posture. So we've got our lovely piece of string. We're going to attach it to our head in a nice bow. Lovely. And then we're going to throw the other end over the tree in front of us and catch it. And we're just going to pull it. Lovely. Look at our posture and how open we are. Perfect. We're also going to be looking at how we're standing. So we want our feet shoulder width apart. So not too close, not too far out, shoulder width apart. Now you can't see my feet, but they are very important. Our legs are very important as well. So we want our knees nice and loose. So can you just give me a little bounce? Fantastic. We don't want our knees locked. So now my knees are locked and I can't move. So we've got nice and loose and that lovely posture if you need to do the string and the tree method at any point in this video, just to realign yourself, you can do that. Lovely. So now we're going to be looking at getting our bodies moving. Can we just do some tapping? Waking up our bodies, ready to sing. Tapping our faces, not too harshly, nice and gently over the forehead, over the head. Chin, cheeks, under the eyes and the nose. Lovely, and back down the arms. Lovely. So, first sweetie exercise we've got. I, uh, I've got my magical bag of sweets. I've just put them somewhere. Oh, can you get yours as well? So mine are here. Here's my magical bag of sweets. You've got the same sweets in your bag too. Are you holding them? Lovely. So first, I want you to find a specific one. I want you to find the toffee fudge sweet. So this one's quite hard. I'm just going to have a look to see where mine is. Oh, here it is. Have you found yours? Lovely. We're going to try this one together. It's probably quite a tough one. Let's try it. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. This is all quite, quite hard. Mmm. Mine's getting stuck in my teeth. Is yours stuck in your teeth? Can you show me with your faces? Mmm. Mine's stuck at the back here. Mmm. Mmm. It's yummy though. Mmm. Oh, I've swallowed mine. That was lovely. Shall we go on to our next sweet? So, this next one, I want you to find the sour sherbet lemon. So, we're looking for the yellow one. Here we go. Okay, so this one is very sour. I don't know if I like this one. I normally like sweet stuff. Should we try it? One, two, three. Oh, that is a sour lemon. Oh, can I see that on your faces? Oh, I'm going to take that one out. Don't like that one. Oh, oh. Okay, the next one we've got is the chili chocolate. Should we look for that one? Okay, this one I'm scared about because I really don't like chili and it's really, really hot. It's the hottest chili you can get. Ready? With me. One, two, three. Oh, 
oh, mine's really hot. I don't like that one. Do you like that one? Ooh, I'm going to spit that out. That wasn't very nice. Okay, so the last one we've got, this one should be a nice one. Although it might not be, it's the mystery sweets, but I'm hoping it's yummy. So the last one, ready? I'm hoping it'll take that chili taste away. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I'm not so sure actually if I like this one. Oh, it's gone all hard again. Mmm. Mmm. No, it's getting softer. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. Mmm. Can you give me a mmm? Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Mmm. Lovely. So now we're just going to walk into our bakery and we're just going to smell the delicious smells in there. I love a bakery. So we walk in, we smell the delicious smells. Mmm. Can you try that for me? So nice big breath in. Mmm. And another one. Mmm. One more. Delicious. Next, we've got my favourite pudding ever. This is the chocolate volcano. So this one's the one that if you cut with your spoon, it oozes out all that delicious chocolatey goodness. Sometimes a bit of ice cream on top. Oh, so good. This one, it's our birthdays today, if you didn't know, and we've got a big fireworks sparkler on the top. And these fireworks, they make some amazing sounds. We're going to use our voices to make the same sounds. So, repeating after me, Ba 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 boo! Your turn. Ba 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 boo! Again. Ba 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 boo! Your turn. Ba 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 boo! Should we go a bit higher? Ba 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 boo! Your turn. Ba 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 boo! Should we go even bigger? Ba 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 boo! Ba 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 boo! Lovely. So we've got our bodies warm. We're starting to use our voices as well. And we've got one last exercise. This is the Coca-Cola exercise. I actually don't like Coca-Cola, but it is very sugary for sure. Very bad for your teeth, so to be had in moderation. Shall we just try this lovely Coca-Cola warm-up? It starts with Coca-Cola. Can you do that for me? Coca-Cola, lovely. Then we're gonna go up one note. So we start with Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, your turn. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. We're gonna go up another note, because that was very good. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola. Oh, should we go up one more? Coca-Cola, one more? Coca-Cola. Should we try those five notes we had there? Starting at the bottom. Coca-Cola, next one. Coca-Cola, next one. Coca-Cola, next one. Coca-Cola, one more. Coca-Cola, lovely. Should we try that all together, but a bit faster? So we're going to go. Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. Your turn. Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. I think we can do that even faster. Should we try it? Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. And then we're going to go back down. Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. Your turn. Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. Okay, and now we can go all the way up and all the way down. Those five notes. One, two. Coca-Cola, 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 Coca-Cola. Lovely. I think we're all ready to sing now. What do you think, Genevieve? <laughs> I think you're all sounding fantastic. Thank you so much, Laura. And by now, you must all be wondering, why is this workshop all about sweets? Is it just because Genevieve and Laura love sweets? Well, I mean, it's a bit of a fact. Yes, we do. We love sweets, don't we, Laura? <laughs> um, but it's actually um, because sweets 
play a very, very important role in the story of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. So welcome to our sugary workshop. <laughs> um, and let's find out now why sweets play such an important part in this story. So we're going to head back to the book that we started reading last week, The Book of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang by Ian Fleming. So the part of the story I'm going to read to you this week is actually quite early on in the book, well before the inventor, Caractacus Potts, invents his magical car. Now, at this point, he really does want a car, but he just can't afford it. So he's been very busy in his workshop inventing, trying to invent something new that will make him some money, make him some money so he can afford a car. And at this point in the story, he decides to show his latest invention to his children, the twins, Jeremy and Jemima. So let's dive back into the book. Um, so sit back and let's enjoy the next little bit of the story. The twins came and stood side by side, looking at their father, wondering what his invention had been this time. Commander Pot, looking very mysterious, dug in his pockets and produced a handful of what looked like round coloured sugar sweets, each a bit bigger than a marble, wrapped in paper and still looking mysterious. He chose a red one for Jeremy and a green one for Jemima and handed them over. Well, sweets are always sweets, thought the children, even though they didn't look very exciting. So they unwrapped them and were just about to pop them in their mouths when Commander Pot cried, wait, look at them first, very, very carefully. The children looked at the sweets and Commander Pot said, what do you see? What's different about them? Jeremy and Jemima said, with one voice to almost, they've got two small holes drilled through the middle of them. Commander Pot nodded solemnly. Now suck them. So Jeremy and Jemima popped the sweets into their mouths and sucked busily away, looking at each other with raised eyebrows as much to say, what do you notice and what do you taste? Mine tastes of strawberry. Mine tastes of peppermint. And both pairs of eyes seemed to say, they're just sweets, <laughs> round boiled sweets. And our tongues can feel the holes in them. Otherwise, they're just like any other sweets. But Commander Pot, who could easily see what they were thinking, suddenly held up his hand. Now, stop sucking, both of you. Twiddle the sweets around with your tongue until they're held between your teeth with the twin holes pointing outwards. Open your lips and blow. Well, of course, the children laughed so much watching each other's faces that they nearly swallowed the sweets. But finally, by turning their backs on each other, they managed to compose themselves and fix the sweets between their teeth. And then they blew. And do you know what? A wonderful shrill whistle came out, almost like a toy steam engine. The children were so excited that they went on whistling until Commander Pot sternly told them to stop. He held up his hand. Now, go on sucking until I tell you to whistle again. And he took out his watch and carefully observed the minute hand. Now, this time, Jeremy and Jemima didn't laugh so much, but managed to get their sweets, which of course were much smaller now, um, between their teeth. And they blew like billy -ho. This time, because their sucking had hollowed out the hole still more, the whistle was a deep one, like one of the new diesel trains going into a tunnel. And they found that they could play all sorts of tricks, like changing the tone by blocking up one hole with their tongues and half closing their lips so as to make a buzzing whistle and lots of other variations. But then, what with their sucking and their blowing, the bit between the two holes collapsed and the sweets made one last deep hoot and then crunched, as all sweets do in the end into little bits. Jeremy and Jemima both jumped up and down with excitement at Commander Pot's invention and begged for more. Then Commander Pot gave them each a little bag full of the sweets and told them to go out into the garden and practice every whistling tune they could think up. As after lunch, he was going to take them to Scrumptious Limited. 
the big sweet people at their local town to give a demonstration to Lord Scrumptious, who owned the factory. And as they ran out into the garden, Commander Pot called after them, they're called crackpots, um, crackpot whistling sweets. And you know what, my chickabiddies, they're going to buy us a motor car. But the children were already dancing away into the woods, making every kind of whistle you can think of, at the same time sucking like mad at their delicious sweets. There really seemed to be something special about Commander Pot's invention, just a little touch of genius. Well, anyway, I can tell you this, Lord Scrumptious thought so. After he heard Jeremy and Jemima whistling in his office, he sent them out into the factory and they danced around amongst the workers, sucking and whistling and handing out sweets from their packets so that very soon they had all the workers in the factory whistling away. And everyone laughed so much that all the Scrumptious sweet machines came to a stop. <laughs> Lord Scrumptious had to call Jeremy and Jemima away before they brought the whole production of Scrumptious sweets and chocolates to a grinding halt. So Jeremy and Jemima went back into Lord Scrumptious's grand office and there was their father being paid £1,000 by the Scrumptious Company treasurer and signing a paper which said he would get an additional sixpence on every thousand crackpot whistling sweets sold by Scrumptious Limited. Jeremy and Jemima didn't think that that sounded very much. But when I let you into a secret and tell you that Scrumptious Limited sell five million every year of just one of their sweets called Chopper Hoop, you can work out for yourselves that perhaps, just perhaps, Commander Cracticus Potts wasn't making such a bad bargain after all. So then everyone shook hands and Lord Scrumptious gave Jeremy and Jemima each a big free box of samples of all the sweets he made. The three of them hurried off back to Mimsy to tell her the good news and straight away the whole family hired a taxi and went to the bank to deposit the cheque for a thousand pounds. And then, and then they all went off together to buy a car. <laughs> so Caracticus Potts invented a musical sweet, a sweet that can whistle, a sweet that can toot, and a sweet that made him enough money to buy our car, to buy Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And in the film of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, there is an amazing scene in the Sweet Factory. It's absolutely one of my favourite scenes in the film. Um, and Lara is going to help us learn the song from that amazing scene. Lara, take it away. <laughs> Lovely. It's one of my favourite scenes as well. So I'm going to sing you the song and then we're going to learn it. How exciting. So here we go. Don't waste your pucker on some all-day sucker and don't try toffee or cream. If you seek perfection in sugar confection, well, there's something new on the scene. A mouth full of cheer, a sweet without fear, a musical morsel supreme. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the eatable, tweetable treats. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the toot of the fruit with the flavour of fruit. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, no longer need candy be mute. Don't waste your pucker on some or this sucker and don't try toffee or cream. If you seek perfection in sugar confection, or oh, there's something new on the scene. A mouthful of cheer, a sweet without fear, a musical morsel supreme. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, a bonbon to blow on at last has been found. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, with tweetable, eatable song. Right, let's leave it there. Shall we start learning? So we're going to look at the choruses today. So, do you want to repeat after me? Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, your turn. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, lovely. They're lovely words to sing, aren't they? Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. And then the next bit is the candies you whistle, your turn. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. 
your turn. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Should we try that from the beginning? So it goes, toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Fantastic. Next bit, similar. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. Your turn, you know that bit. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. No longer need candies be mute. No longer need candy be mute. Your turn. No longer need candy be mute. Shall we try that all together from the beginning? So it's toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. No longer need candy be mute. Fantastic. Should we try that a bit faster and then we can just look at the second chorus as well because you're doing so well. So from Toot Sweets. Toot Sweets, Toot Sweets. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Toot Sweets, Toot Sweets. The eatable, tweetable treats. Oh, I did the wrong line, didn't I? Hmm. Let's go over that again. So toot sweets, toot sweets. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. We did that. Toot sweets, toot sweets. The eatable, tweetable treats. Actually, that one goes down. We can learn both, can't we? So that one goes, the eatable, tweetable treats. Try that for me. The eatable, tweetable treats. Lovely. Then we go on to the second chorus, which is toot sweets, toot sweets. The toot or the flute with the flavour of fruit. That's quite a bit of a tongue twister there. The toot of a flute with the flavour of fruit. Try that for me. The toot of a flute with the flavour of fruit. Oh, that's quite tricky. So from that beginning of that chorus, toot sweet, toot sweet. The toot or the flute with the flavour of fruit. Lovely, well done. And the next bit. Toot sweets, toot sweets, no longer need candies be mute. And that one goes up, so you're much better prepared than I am. No longer need candies be mute. And then try the first one. So the last line of the first chorus is the eatable, tweetable treats, and that goes down. The eatable, tweetable treats. And then the second chorus goes, no longer need candy be mute. So they're slightly different there. That's one to keep your mind on. So from the beginning of the first course, you have got these words in the description box of this video. So you can always have a look over them. And if you're a bit confused about the notes, you can always rewind as well. So let's go from the first chorus together. Beginning. Toot sweet, toot sweet. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The eatable, treatable treats. Lovely. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The toot of the flute with the flavour of fruit. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. No longer be candy, be mute. Lovely. Well done. Shall we try it with the track? I think we've got time. Let's have a go. So here we go. Ready? Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The candies you whistle, the whistles you eat. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The eatable, tweetable treats. Lovely. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet. The toot of the fruit with the flavour of fruit. Toot, sweet, toot. Sweet, no longer need candy be mute. Lovely. Well done. Right. I think we're ready to do some performances of it. What do you think, Genevieve? Oh, absolutely. I, I just so wish we could hear you all live. I'm sure you're sounding absolutely scrumptious and I just wish we could hear you right now. Um, so let's have a think about how we could now perform this song. You're going to have three opportunities now to perform this song in different ways because every time I'm going to ask you to perform it slightly differently, we're going to do some acting. After all, this is a musical, we've got to tell stories. So, are we ready? You might, if you're not already, you might want to be standing up for this. So, okay, this is your character. 
You are the inventor. You are Caractacus Potts. And you have just invented this sweet, this amazing sweet. Now, I would like you to sing this song as though you have just realised what you've invented. That what you've spent days and days and days and days and days working on has worked. Has worked. You've created a sweet, a musical sweet. A sweet that sings, a sweet that toots. You love it. So, okay, this is really exciting. What dynamic do you think we should use to sing? We looked at dynamics last week, didn't we? So how loud or how quiet a piece of music is. Now, I'm not sure what you think, Lara, but if you were to sing really loudly right now, it would sound like you're perhaps really confident, but actually this invention is, is brand new, isn't it? It's just something you've realised has worked. So actually, you can't quite believe it. So... I think actually it'd be quite nice to hear it performed quietly to start with. Um, quietly because you've just discovered it. You, you can't quite believe that this invention works. So let's make sure our faces are really excited. Our eyes are really wide as we sing. That we're singing nice and quietly. This is our secret for now. Should we give I it a go? I completely agree. Let's have a go. Here we go. Sweet, 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 the candies you whistle, the whistle as you eat. Sweet, 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 the eating boy to eat double treats. Sweet, 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 the toot of the fruit with the flavour of fruit. Sweet, 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 no longer need candy be mute. Oh, thank you. Well done. Thank you, Lara, as well. <laughs> what a great first performance. Now we're on to our second go. This time you're still the inventor and you've turned up at the Scrumptious Sweet Factory. And you're here to really sell your sweet to Lord Scrumptious. You want to persuade him to convince him to try and buy your special sweet. So how do you think we do that? How do we persuade Lord Scrumptious? OK, firstly, Lord Scrumptious is standing there right in front of you. But he's a very busy man, don't forget. Very busy man. So um, let's actually start by trying to picture what Lord Scrumptious might look like. So just close your eyes for a second and imagine he's there before you. What are his eyes like? What do they look like? What's he wearing? What do you think Lord Scrumptious might wear? Is Lord Scrumptious taller than you? Or is Lord Scrumptious shorter than you? Does Lord Scrumptious have a smell? <laughs> Does he smell of any of the sweets in his sweet factory? So just imagine Lord Scrumptious is there. Let's open our eyes, open our eyes. He's there in front of you. But remember, he's a very busy man. He runs this very busy factory. So you need to get and you need to keep his attention. So perhaps this time when we perform, we'll start singing quietly so we'll use that dynamic just why to be polite to be respectful of him so we'll, we'll keep ourselves quite poised so we'll sing quietly to begin with nice and calm and then maybe imagine you're not quite getting his attention so then let's change our dynamic let's change our tactic this time we'll get louder and louder and louder as the song goes on because Lord Scrumptious is not listening to us so we need to get his attention so we'll start quietly and then we're going to get louder and louder and louder as the song goes on should we give it a go ready Lara ready let's try those two choruses again Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the candy do whistle, the whistle is you eat. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the eat of your treats are both sweet. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the toot of the fruit with the flavour of fruit. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, no longer need candy be mute. Oh, I love that one. There was so much drama in there. There was so much drama. I love that. Thanks, Lara, for helping us. Um, so finally, our final performance. What should we do with this one? How about this time? You're still the inventor. And 
the best bit. You've been given that check, that check for £1,000 because Lord Scrumptious loves your invention, loves your suite. You did it. So let's sing the song this time. Really confident, celebrating your success, celebrating your amazing sweets. So think about your body. Um, you're happy and you're confident. So you want to be standing tall. Your body language is open. Think about that activity we did earlier with Lara. Stand nice and tall and feel free this time to use your arms. Use some movement. Sing nice and loudly. Ready? Big smiles on your faces. Let's take it away. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the candy do whistle, the whistles you eat. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the eatable, tweetable treats. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, the toot on a flute with the flavour of fruit. Toot, sweet, toot, sweet, no longer need candy be mute. <laughs> <laughs> love it all give yourselves a round of applause fantastic yeah. <laughs> oh what a great way to end the workshop that song just makes you want to dance doesn't it <laughs> thank you so much for joining us again today um it's been so much fun i've certainly had a lot of fun um i just love the idea of the invention of a musical suite why not have a go have a go see if there's anything you can find around your house which you wouldn't expect to be musical and make it musical make your own invention i mean try things like filling up jars with different levels of water and giving them a tap can that make an interesting sound do they make different sounds are some quiet are some loud are there different tones and then have a play what happens if you shake a jar of rice does that make a sound play create your own little musical inventions look for sounds in everyday objects that you wouldn't expect have a go and if you have some success if you find you have an invention that you think is pretty magical pretty amazing why not get one of your family to take a video of you so that you can share it with us we'd absolutely love to see some more musical inventions <laughs> um so do send them over to us um and you can do that by emailing them over to inspire at operahollandpark.com or um, if your family want to share them online you can share them on twitter and find us on there at Opera Holland PK. Um, so also, if you're wondering what you might do this weekend and you want to stay with the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang theme, well, what better way to spend a weekend than to sit back with your family to watch the film A Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, maybe with a sweet or two if you're lucky. <laughs> um, see you next week. We've got our final workshop coming up then, and we're going to have quite the sing-along then, performing the two songs that we've learned, so Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, the title song of the film, and Toot Sweets again, as well as learning a third, third special song from the show. Um, so by the end, we'll be able to do our very own Chitty Chitty Bang Bang medley. But until then, lovely to see